Hey folks, I'm doing this upload right here, not because I'm looking for clicks or subscribers or whatever, but really just to talk to you guys um, and talk about the Jeff Hardy situation. I'm sure most of you believe in the power of prayer, and if you don't, uh, at least believe in the power of positive thinking and, and uh, sending positive thoughts somebody's way. I also hope that any of you who listen to me, um, or I mean really anyone who's close to the situation with uh, Jeff Hardy, but you know, I'm speaking to you guys, any of you that might struggle with addiction or depression, I hope you can use the situation here with Jeff Hardy as, as someone who is kind of a hero to us in the wrestling world, especially us impact fans. Um, I hope you can use this as a motivator to, to get help or to finally, finally um, come to the realization that, Maybe you don't have you know control over your life the way you may think, and hopefully everyone who listens to this is a okay. But there might be someone out there who isn't. And the news came out about Jeff Hardy today, uh, blowing a point two five over three times the legal limit, uh, swerves off the road, hits about a hundred and five feet of guardrail before before his car spun out ninety degrees, eight thousand dollars in damages to his 2016 Cadillac, 5,000 damage damages to the guardrail, 30 day suspension of his driver's license, which is really a slap on the wrist, but 30 day suspension. And it's a slap on the wrist for someone with a history like he has, but he does have an April 16th court date. Jeff Hardy is someone we all love and he always respected TNA and impact. He never, never phoned it in. There's people on TV right now that we're watching who aren't with the company anymore, but they're part of the tapings who are phoning it in in front of our face. Jeff Hardy never did that. If he was hurt or whatever it is, he, he always, always gave his all as long as he was in the right headspace. He was always all in. It's sad that his brother, Matt Tweets, Eva, in, in character... Eva, since the seven deities have come to me, I do not put alcohol, drugs, or foreign substances into my vessel. I am more. That could be a storyline. You know, he used a storyline like that similar in TNA, but I, I doubt it. He also made some very heartless texts a couple of years ago um, during Slammiversary. Very heartless texts about the Orlando shooting at the nightclub. So it sounds like he's doing his best to distance himself from his brother since right now he's arguably more popular than him for the first time in his career. So uh, good brother right there. It's sad that Jeff continues to have these demons and, and continues to make poor decisions. Depression is a real thing. There are people out there who you would think have it all. Money, cars, clothes, houses, women. Or even a family, like Jeff has, a beautiful family, beautiful wife and two girls, I believe. But these people are still unhappy and still unfulfilled with life. Now, I'm a very creative person myself. I used to go to college for art. I used to draw, paint. Um, I have a, I'm a certified graphic designer, even though I haven't really been practicing for a few years. And I spent damn near 17 years making music myself, so... I know what it's like to, to be creative and to express yourself and to really enjoy that freedom of expression. Now, right now, I mainly express myself through this podcast and because I, I haven't had a creative outlet like that in a while. But as someone who has a creative mind, it, it's a little hard to explain, but it can hit you very hard and heavy when you're unable to express yourself the way that you need to. And, and Lord knows... WWE is not the company for a wrestler to flex his creative freedom. You are you are trapped inside your own head. And I, I bring that up because maybe it's something professional, but I don't think he wrestled a whole lot before he got injured there. But maybe it's maybe it's professional. Maybe it is, you know, legitimate depression about something else in life. Maybe it's because he gets injured so much. And he spent a lot of time in TNA injured and then comes to WWE, which he had, you know, outright said he wanted to return one day and he got hurt. Uh, 
I don't, I, his family knows better than we do, of course, what, um, what plagues this guy, but it's really sad to see. And I, I don't think any of us really expected something like this to happen again. I think everyone was kind of under the impression that he, he was pretty clean or at least drinking responsibly, you know, and we can go back to the, um, the paper you was sting, um, there's, and I think he had a, got a, I think he had about three strikes with WWE. He could easily be fired after this. I mean, how many chances has he had? I, I want to say he had like three strikes with WWE before, and of course a couple with Impact. You know, I didn't start drinking until I was 32. I'm 38 now. I just, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm all high and mighty, but I, I chose at a young age that I was going to be responsible first and know that when I decided to drink, I would be mature enough to do it and make good decisions, but you still have fun. So drinking is fun to me. I like to get drunk, but I don't get drunk, but once a year. And when I do, I'm, I'm having fun with my friends and I have a ride home and I have a plan. I'm not sure what drives Jeff to drink or whatever other substances he's involved with. But it's, you know, it could be a depression of, of being someone famous and what comes with that. It could be creative lack of creative freedom at work. And it could be frustration with injuries or it could be none of those things. We don't really know. But Jeff Hardy needs to be very careful because the next time he could kill somebody, could even kill himself. So again, um, if you believe in prayer, if you believe in, in positive thinking, I think Jeff Hardy needs it now more than ever. Because if he does get fired after this, he could become even more depressed. It looks like that's something Rich Swan is going through right now. Now, Jeff Hardy has a much longer leash than someone like Rich Swan has, but, you know, you never know what will push someone over the edge. So thanks for listening, folks. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.